Good day to each and every and again. Welcome to Cookery Grade 10. And we are about to begin our quarter number two. So for today's discussion, we're going to review first what you have learned during the our quarter one. So what are these? Are you familiar with these pictures? I'll be giving you a second to name it. Let's identify. This is what we call a paring knife. It's a small knife used mainly for peeling fruits and vegetables. This is a chef knife which is used in cutting. Chopping board used to hold item while chopping. Colander. This is to drain excess water after washing. And the bowl is used to hold vegetables utility tray is used to hold ingredients saute pan is for sauteing or stir frying vegetables steamer for steaming vegetables oven for cooking vegetables oven steam or bake for today we're going to talk about performing misa and blast for vegetables Vegetables are an important part of a healthy diet because it provides nutrients vital for health and maintenance of your body. It, is also, it also provides health benefits to people to reduce the risk of some chronic diseases including heart attack and stroke. Vegetables protect people against certain types of cancer, reduce obesity and type 2 diabetes. Lower blood pressures, reduce the risk of developing kidney stones, and help decrease bone loss. Vegetables are plants or parts of plants like leaves, fruits, tubers, roots, bulbs, stems, shoots, and flowers used in a dish either raw or cooked. Vegetables give color, texture, and flavor to our meals. They also give vitamins and minerals. Vegetables are important source of many nutrients, such including potassium, dietary fiber, folate, folic acid, vitamin A, and vitamin C. They help to maintain normal blood pressure. So these are the different sources, sources of vegetables, and these are different types of vegetables as you can see. Dietary Vegetables serve as a dietary fiber. It helps reduce blood cholesterol levels. It lowers the risk of heart disease, proper bowel function, reduce constipation, and diverticulosis. Diverticulosis is the infection or inflammation of pouches that can form in your intestines. These pouches are called diverticula. The pouches generally aren't harmful. They can show up anywhere in your intestines. If you have them, it's called diverticulosis. And vegetables will provide a feeling of fullness with fewer calories. Vegetables is a good source of folate or folic acid. This will going to reduce the risk of neural tube defects, spinal bifida, and anencephaly during fetal development. This helps the body form red blood cells. Women of childbearing age who may become pregnant should consume adequate folate from foods and in addition 400 mcg of synthetic folic acid from fortified foods supplements. Vegetables are also sources of vitamins. We have vitamin A. It keeps the eyes and skin healthy and helps to protect against infections. Green leafy and yellow fruit vegetables are some of the examples. It promotes normal development of teeth, softened skeletal tissue, alugbari, ampalaya leaves, kalabasa leaves, malunggay, petchay, and sili leaves are some of the examples. For vitamin C, they help helps heal cuts and wounds and keeps the teeth and gums healthy and aids in iron absorption. Example of these are yellow vegetables such as cabbage, bell peppers, lettuce, potatoes, dark green, and yellow vegetables. They promote healthy immune system and it maintains blood vessels and connective tissues. Vitamin B complex, these are, exam are these examples such as legumes, peas, and beans. It 
Vitamin B is very important for metabolism and formation of blood cells and maintenance of central nervous system, which includes the brain and spinal cord. Ang palaya tops, colitis, pepper leaves, saloya, dry leaves are other example or dried beans are other example of it. Vegetable husk classifications. The first one is the guard family. Guard family is... A fleshy, typically large fruit with hard skin, some varieties of which are edible. We also have the sweet pepper or the seeds and pods. An example of this sweet and pods are the sweet pepper, beans. For fruits and vegetables, we also have avocado, eggplant, and tomatoes. And of course, we have peppers as well. Roots and tubers, these are examples of roots and tubers. We have like carrots, the radish, artichoke, um, artichoke are European power plant, flower plants. We also have potatoes, sweet potatoes. For the cabbage family, we have the following. We have broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, stalks, stems, and shoots. We have the asparagus, we have fennel, these are Fenniculum vulgare, it's a flowering plant species in the carrot family, celery as well, and we have bamboo shoots. Mushrooms, these are some example of mushrooms. According, um, vegetables have is being composed according to its chemical composition, wherein carbohydrates are rich vegetables such as seeds, roots, and tuber. They have protein-rich vegetables such as legumes, beans, and bees. We have also fat-rich vegetables such as nuts, olives, and avocado. High moisture content such as mushroom, tomatoes, radish, green leafy vegetables. Flavor components of vegetables. They have sugar. Sugar has fructose. It's the natural sugar that provides the sweetness in vegetables. Sulfur compound, which give the characteristics of strong flavor and odor of some vegetables like onions, leeks, garlic, chives, cabbage, and broccoli. Glutamic acid. This forms a product called monosodium glutamate when combined with salt. It is found in a large amount from fresh and young vegetables. For the color components of vegetable, you can watch uh, TLA Life Skill for the color components. And according to the TLA Life Skills, these are the factors to consider in choosing good quality vegetable. We have to consider the freshness. Fresh vegetables should be crisp and bright in colors. The absence of decay or insect infestation. No mechanical damage or injury. The right degree of maturity. Variety, different varieties. They differ in color, shape, textures, and sometimes flavor. So that's all for today and thank you so much. Until next time, bye!